Today we're gonna travel back in time and make a 90s style boom bap instrumental. For some reason I keep getting suggestions to make old school style beats, so I guess I'll give it a go. Even though my Logic and J. Cole tutorials are this style of beat. Boom bap is a style of hip hop that was prominent throughout the 90s and early 2000s, distinct for its hard bass drums and crispy snares. You can't really talk about boom bap without bringing up Jay Dilla, who was an absolute beast of a hip hop producer. When I think of boom bap, he's the first artist that comes to mind without question. The boom bap style still lives on today through artists like Logic with his Young Sinatra series of mixtapes. There are still a handful of new artists that rap on this style of instrumental as well, such as YBN Corday. But for the most part, trap production has pretty much taken over the hip hop genre entirely, and boom bap is nowhere near as pervasive as it once was. Let's get into the cook up. 90s hip hop was largely sample based, so the first thing we have to do is find a suitable sample. I'm just going to YouTube search for a playlist with 70s soul or jazz music and then skim through it. I found this song here. I cut out a portion of the sample that I liked and I'm going to loop it. I'm also going to lower the pitch by three semitones. If you're new to sampling or don't quite have that good of a grasp on it, I'll link a more in-depth sampling tutorial below. Here's the loop that I'll be using. I added some effects. First I added an EQ to cut the highs around 6 kHz. And I cut the lows at 356 Hz. I added some reverb. And I added this imager plugin to widen up the sample a bit. Here's what it sounds like with effects added. I have this live drum loop that I'm going to use for the hats. All of the drums that I'm using in this tutorial, including this loop, are live drum samples that were recorded by my friend in a studio. I need to time stretch it to fit the tempo. I know somebody is probably going to comment 162 BPM is too fast for boom bap. While the actual tempo is 81, I always work in double time because I'm used to making trap beats, but there's no difference in the final product. If you didn't see me working on this, you'd likely assume the project was set to 81 BPM. I added an EQ to cut the lows at 1.5 kHz. This will just leave the hats audible. Here's what the loop sounds like now. I laid down this open hat. Now I'm going to lay down a bass line with citrus. I'll start putting down notes in a higher octave just so I can hear the tones better. To make the bass a little fatter, I added some distortion. I added an EQ as well, with a high cut at 403 hertz, a boost at 281 hertz, and a boost at 50 hertz as well. Here's what it sounds like now. I made this kick pattern. I laid down this snare. Here's what the drums sound like all together. I also added this crash later on. Now it's time to write some lyrics. I'm just going to freestyle some random bars, trying to fit in the pocket of the beat with an old school type flow. As for vocal mixing, I added an EQ to cut the lows at 128 hertz. I dipped out some frequencies at 213 hertz, and I added a slight boost at 553 hertz as well as 2.5 kilohertz. I added some saturation on my vocals, on everything except for the lows. I added the default setting of this compressor just to tame the vocals a bit. I added a one quarter delay. I threw some reverb on there as well. 
I put a limiter on my vocals with a ceiling of negative four decibels. And lastly, I threw this de on my vocals as well to cut the harsh S sounds that result from the high-end volume boosts with the EQ and Saturator plugin. I'll leave a more in-depth vocal mixing tutorial in the description section of this video. With all of that out of the way, let's see what we've come up with. Yeah, yeah, yo. It seems lame, always chasing the fame. I chase my potential to see if I can make any gains. I'm underground, straight to the grave, slave to the game. Never stop, bitch, that ain't gonna change. And I knew it back in the day that making great tracks would be exactly where my fate's at. Had to state facts, don't know if you can relate. But I've been chasing lucrative traits and wait to blow up till I'm blue in the face. 